to praise the Lord. Yahweh.
to him, even a season of pause is a season of purpose, even in solitude. He magnified his sovereignty. But this 2023, we will gather as one man. It's time to dream again. Dive into the unknown with faith. To explore the depths of his power. To cross the unbelief. And swiftly move forward. To reach the unseen. And witness the fullness of his glory. We are going further. Welcome home, COG fam, and a blessed Sunday, everyone. Thank you guys for tuning in. We're so glad to have you here with us. This is another great Sunday, so let's expect a great encounter with the Lord. Sit back, relax, and feel at home as we enjoy every moment with the Lord. Alright, I know you're excited to worship and hear God's word, but before that, let me lead you to a prayer, alright? Hallelujah, hallelujah, we thank you God for this. Um, another beautiful Sunday, it's another opportunity to love and to be loved, Lord God. Maraming pong salamat sa patuloy na pagmamahal, pagpapala, at pagpapatawad sa amin sa araw-araw, Lord God. Bless our speaker, Lord God, na way maipahatid niya ang mensahe na nais mong ipahatid sa inyong mga anak, Lord God. And this we pray in the mighty in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's prepare our hearts as we listen to the message of the Lord for us today. I'll see you again later. This is Karina. God bless everyone. Church of God, are you ready to praise the Lord? Yeah. Amen. Come on, give Him a shout of praise. Can I see the hands of those who are excited to praise the Lord? Come on, lift it up. Hey, hey. Oh God, today we're going to move forward with you. Oh God, we're going to lift our hands to praise today. Come on, Church of God. Stepping now with you, God, I am moving on with you. Your fire has burned out every chain. God, I am stepping now with you. God, I am moving on with you. Your voice has called me by name. Turn my faith into there is no turning back I'm moving forward oh, oh, oh. I'm stepping out into the unknown It's you I am choosing after It's you I am moving further I'm moving forward oh, oh, oh. I'm stepping out into the unknown It's you I am choosing
Breakthrough is here. 
all-consuming fire We come alive again, the heavens open wide Oh yes, God, pour out your rain Pour out your rain again, and love is holy place We come alive again in your love In your love Our church is saved Psalms 126 says here, Now, Lord, do it again. Restore us to our former glory. May streams of your refreshing flow over us until our dry hearts are drenched again. Those who sow their tears as the seeds will reap a harvest with joyful shouts of glee. They may weep as they go out carrying their seed to sow. But they will return with joyful laughter and shouting with gladness as they bring back armloads of blessing and a harvest overflowing. So now church, can you just lift your hands to the Lord today? God is doing it again. God will do it again. He will heal you again. He will heal again. He will restore us again. Oh God, revive us again. Give us new dreams again. Up your hands, you worship. Oh, we worship you, God. Oh, do it again. Do it again. Perform miracles again. Touch on me, 
Jesus, rise again. You're the God who surrounds me with glory. Would you meet me face to face? I want to see. Good. 
Glory. 
double portion of anointing God and let every word change us from glory to glory God we love you Father and we bring about all the glory praises and honor in Jesus name we pray everybody shout amen, amen. to God be the glory and God bless you happy Sunday and welcome home COG fam here's what's happening in our church we are excited to meet you at Revival Night this Tuesday. Get ready to have a personal encounter with the Lord. We believe that God is transforming hearts from glory to glory. So don't miss this chance and bring your loved ones. Friends and family, something big is coming up at The Hub. We're ecstatic to start The Hub Season 7 with Hi! This April 19, we will level up. Visit our page and tune in for more details. This coming April 17 to 22, we will be having a mission in Mindoro. The We Exalt Your Jesus Foundation is looking for volunteers and sponsors to be part of this. Together, let's share God's love through missions. We are pushing further with White Light at Life Institute. The basic church audio and church theater evangelism with Life Create is happening this April. To know more about our programs, visit us on Facebook at Life Institute PH. Our technology team is calling all the tech service out there. Register now to be part of the COG Tech Army. It's time to bring out the tech in you. To join, sign up in the link show. Four months to go till further and we are opening our doors to those who want to be part of our concessionaires at the Further Bazaar. Save your spot now through the link show. We're blessed to share this good news to you. Bethel will be fully open very soon and we are opening its doors of opportunity for the following. For more information, visit the Bethel booth at the lobby or send us your resume at cogdasma at gmail.com. And for those in the sanctuary, please be reminded to switch your phones to silent mode and turn off your flash when taking photos during the service. It's time to open your heart and be encouraged as you hear the message of the Lord today. This is Karina saying God bless and enjoy the service. Amen. Could you just give God a very best clap offering? <laughs> Hallelujah. Good day, church. It's a blessing to be here in the house of God because God's presence is here in this place. Amen. Po ba yun? Amen. Sige po, palakpangan muli natin ang ating Panginoon. And because God's presence is here, I believe God will be doing great things sa buhay po natin and in the people's lives here in this service. At sino po dito ang excited to hear God's word? Amen. Ako rin po. Sige po, lahat po na excited. Pumalakpak po para sa Panginoon. And I'm also excited to be here and to preach to you God's word. And it's good to be back. Dahil po for the first quarter of this year, ang aking team po ay umikot po sa ating mga satellite churches. And it's a blessing to meet our members, workers, and leaders po sa COG Jabe, Silang, and Gentry. And ano, ano pong nakita ko po sa pag-iikot po sa kanila, I could see that our church can go to the next level. Amen po ba yun? Amen. Sige po, palakpangan natin si Lord. If you believe that our church can go to the next level, and gusto po ba natin pumunta sa next level ng ating simbahan? Amen. Ako rin po, I want to go to the next level of our church 
Pero alam po natin, as we go to the next level, meron po tayo mga challenges na kakaharapin, meron pong difficulties, meron pong hardship, meron pong added load po yan, workload sa lahat po ng ginagawa po natin. Kaya po minsan po, meron po tayo mga hesitations to get to the next level or to go to the next level. Naalala ko, naalala ko tuloy yung aking daughter na si Georgie, nung siya po ay magpapabakuna na. Uh, siguro po last month po yun. Alam niyo po, ito po yung kanyang naging reaction. Panoorin po muna natin si Georgie. Are you ready? No. Why? No? Are you ready? No. Injection? No. Are you ready? Come on. No! So, ayan po si Georgie at magpapabakuna na po siya dyan. Sama po ng tatay, no? nagpapaiyak po ng bata. And kitang-kita po natin yung reaction po ni Georgie at hindi po siya ready for that vaccine, hindi po siya ready for that injection. At minsan po, pagkapag tayo po ay papasok po sa next level ng ating buhay or tayo po ay dinadala ni Lord sa next level ng ating church, minsan po, ganyan din po yung ating response. No, Lord! Wait lang, Lord. Busy pa ako, Lord. I'm not yet ready. Ang dami ko pang kailangan tapusin. Ang dami ko pang ibang priority sa aking buhay. Kaya we respond to God, Lord, I'm not yet ready. But my prayer is, at the end of this preaching, at the end of this service, sana po lahat, lahat po tayo, sabay-sabay po tayo, with all of our hearts, with full confidence, with full courage, we can reply to God and tell God, Yes, God, I'm Ready. Amen po ba yan? Sige nga po, pakisabi nga po yan, I'm ready. Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. And if you have your Bibles with you, let's open it in Genesis chapter 28, verse 10 to 11. And ang sabi po dito, Now, Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. So he came to a certain place and stayed there all night. Because the sun had set and he took one of the stones of that place and put it at his head and he lay down in that place to sleep. At meron po tayong bagong Bible character na pag-uusapan po ngayon. At his name is Jacob. And most of us, kilala po natin si Jacob. Anak po siya ni Isaac. Apo po siya ni Abraham. And nung nire-research ko po yung kanyang pangalan, ang ibig sabihin po pala ng Jacob is the one that supplants or the one that undermines. Or ang ibig sabihin din po ng Jacob is a heel. At mas maintindihan po natin yan kapag makikita po natin yung senaryo po ni Jacob po ngayon. Alam niyo po, nakasulat po dito, he is running away from Beersheba. Siya po ay papunta po sa Haran. At kung mababasa po natin yung story po ni Jacob, siya po ngayon ay papalayo from his family. He is fleeing away from his family. Bakit po? Because he supplanted his father or he forcefully deceived his father. Bakit po? Kasi gusto niya po yung birthright ni Esau. Gusto niya po yung birthright po ng kanyang big brother, ng kanyang brother. At uh, he undermined his brother na si Esau. Kaya po he sabotaged Esau's birthright. Kaya po pag sinabi po yung word po na heel, a term comes into my mind, the Achilles heel. At makikita po natin ngayon na nasa gitna po ng weakness si Jacob. Hindi niya po kasama yung kanyang family. And what we could say about Jacob is, he is a person not ready. At ngayon po, bago po tayo magpatuloy sa salita ng Panginoon, let's all bow our heads and let us pray. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus Christ. We humbly invite your presence, Lord God, to be here in this place. We need you. We want more of you here in our lives. We came here for you. And your people, Lord God, are here, Lord God, to seek your wisdom, Panginoon, to seek your word in their lives, Panginoon. And right this very moment, Lord God, we humbly ask for your anointing, your wisdom, and your favor. And we believe, Lord God, after this service, our lives will never be the same again, Panginoon. Kaya ngayon pa lang, Lord God, we already claim the victory, and we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout, Amen. 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 Sige, palakpang po natin ang ating Panginoong Diyos. At siguro po marami rin po tayong mga scenarios na nasasabi natin talaga kay Lord that we are not ready. Isang magandang example po dyan ay, sino po dito ang takot po sa roller coaster? May mga takot po ba dito sa roller coaster? So isa na po ako dyan. At nung bata po ako, talaga pong uh, tuwing daan ko po sa Enchanted Kingdom at may space shuttle po, talaga pong nagtuturn back ako at sinasabi ko po sa magulang ko, I'm not ready. So sa paulit-ulit po na punta po doon, may, may senaryo na lang po na may kaharap po akong maliit po na batang babae 
At nahihiya na po akong umatras. Kasi yung bata po, excited na excited, sumakay ng roller coaster. Kaya napasakay na rin po ako. Wala po ako nagawa. And minsan po sa ating buhay din, sino po dito naman ang takot po sa cliff diving or takot po sa heights? May mga takot po ba dito sa heights? So parang nalulula na po kayo sa preaching ko po. So may mga takot po sa heights at alam niyo po, nasubukan ko din po yan. Medyo mababa lang po yung tinalunan ko po sa Madela. Actually po na cliff dive po yun. And it took me hours to make my first jump. Inip na inip na po yung mga kasama ko. Nasa tubig na po sila at inaantay po nila akong tumalon. At hindi po ako makatalon-talon because I'm not ready. At kapag dinala po natin to sa ating buhay, minsan po kapag tayo po on a serious note, dinadala na po tayo ni Lord na we can go into marriage already. Minsan ang sagot po natin, ah, hindi pa ako ready. Kailangan ko pa mag-ipon, marami pa akong kailangan ayusin para maging ready ako. Or kapag tayo po ay tinatawag na po ni Lord into leadership, madalas po sinasabi natin kay Lord, Lord, hindi pa rin ako ready para dyan. Parang hindi pa set yung aking character. I'm not yet ready. E di lalong-lalo na po kapag tayo po ay tinatawag ni Lord into our calling. It's like jumping into a cliff at hindi po natin alam anong mangyayari po sa atin. And we can respond to God. We usually respond to God, Lord, I'm not ready. At bakit po ba yun ang nasasabi natin kay Lord madalas that we are not ready? Because we are fearful. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, fearful. Madalas po tayo po ay fearful. And why are we fearful? Ano pong dahilan po dyan? Dahil hindi po natin alam what to expect. Hindi po natin alam what will be the experience. Masasaktan ba tayo dyan? Malulunod ba tayo dyan? Ano bang mangyayari sa buhay ko dyan? Will I succeed? Will I fail? Will everything be alright? Or will everything not be alright? So yun po yung mga kinakatakutan po natin at ayaw po natin yung mga ganong klaseng experience. Kaya naalala ko tuloy ulit yung aking anak na si Bella naman po. Ganito po yung kanyang experience nung siya po ay nag-slide sa isang palaruan po dito sa dashboard. <laughs> so ayan po si Bella, iyakin po si Bella at sama po talaga ng tatay po nila, nagpapaiyak po ng bata. And yan po yung experience po ni Bella, siguro po hindi niya po nakita na very steep po kasi yung slide po noon, siguro hindi niya po na-expect yung lula, hindi niya po na-expect yung bilis, kaya umiyak po siya ng, to the top of her lungs. At yan po yung iyak na ayaw po natin ma-experience. Yan po yung itsura na ayaw po natin ma-experience, ayaw po natin na nahihirapan tayo, ayaw po natin na nabibigla tayo, ayaw po natin na nasasaktan tayo, ayaw po natin na napapahiya po tayo, or ayaw po natin na hindi po natin control yung next na mangyayari sa ating buhay. Kaya po tayo po ay fearful at madalas sinasabi natin kay Lord, I'm not ready. But I have good news for you today. Yung ganyang itsura, yung ganyang experience, panandalian lang po yan. Hindi po yan forever. Saglit lang po yan. Just like what happened to us ng aming family day. Ganito po yung itsura po nila. After po yan, masaya na po ulit sila. Naglalaro na po ulit sila. And may nang, uh, nagtatanong nga po sa akin, paano ko daw po minamanage ang aking stress? Ganyan ko po minamanage. Binubuhos ko po sa kanila. <laughs> Talaga pong tinutodo ko po yung bato po ng stuff to sa kanila. But kidding aside, they are my relaxation, they are my family, they are my joy. At masaya po ako sa aking mga anak. Natatanggal po talaga nila yung aking stress. At, at panandali. Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. Sarap po magkaanak sa mga may anak na po dito. Ngayon alam niyo po, uh, ganyan din po sa ating buhay. Panandalian lang po yan. Ngayon alam niyo po, ano po yung pwede pa natin i-expect sa Panginoon po natin, kaysa po i-expect natin yung fear, kaysa i-expect po natin yung sakit, i-expect po natin yung mga hindi po natin alam or mga what-ifs po natin. Sabi po sa next verse, Then he dreamed, and behold, a ladder was set up on the earth, and its top reached to heaven, and there the angels of God were ascending and descending on it. At ito po yung napanaginipan po ni Jacob. Ito po yung kanyang nakita. Ito po yung pinakita ni Lord kay Jacob while he was not ready, while he was asleep, while he was resting. God showed him an amazing ladder. 
Yan po yung pinakita po kay Jacob. At manghang-mangha po si Jacob habang nakikita po niya yan sa kanyang panaginip. Talaga po hindi niya po ma-explain yung experience. At kung titignan po natin yung mga next verses, nasabi niya na in this place, in this land, talaga nandito yung presensya ng Panginoon. Dahil ito po yung pinakita ni Lord sa kanyang buhay. Just a, just a sample here right now. At ngayon po, ano po ba yung gustong ipakita po sa atin ng Panginoon? Ano po yung gusto niyang ipa-expect para sa ating buhay? This is God's word for everyone who are here right now. I will do amazing things through your lives today. Amen po ba yun? Sige po, palakpa nga po natin si Lord. Kung may pwede tayo expect to the next level of your life, kung meron kang pwede expect to the next level of this church, ito po yung pwede po natin expect that God will be doing amazing things through you. At yung, yung message po na yan, I personally received this noong 2017. Dahil po yun po yung time po na pinagpipray ko po yung aking wife na si Gian, kung siya po ay liligawan ko ba talaga o hindi. Dahil po nung ako po ay youthful days, ayoko naman po magligaw tapos hindi ko naman po itutuloy sa kasal. Diba? Sayang po yung oras, sayang panahon. Gusto ko po kapag may niligawan na po ko, siya na po talaga, she's the one. Kaya talaga pong hinihingi ko po kay Lord, Lord, what is your word para po I go into this relationship? At alam niyo po, in one of the days of our prayer and fasting po noong 2017, yan po yung mensahe po ng Panginoon sa akin at sabi niya po sa akin, I will do amazing things through the both of you. At yun po ay pinanghawakan ko and true enough, a year later kami po ay kinasal. And na-experience po namin yung presence si Lord on our wedding day. So fast forward, ngayon po meron na po akong Tres Marias, si Bella, si Georgie, at saka si Gwen. At lumalaki po yung aking family. Diba? Enjoy ko po yung mga babies ko po, di ba? So pantanggal stress po talaga sila. And alam niyo po, uh, right now we are placed here in this beautiful, amazing church, uh, giving glory to God. And I could say, as for me and my house, we are serving the Lord. And God is doing amazing things here. I've experienced amazing things in my life. At ngayon po, pwede po ko magpatutuo po sa inyo na yung salita po ng, to- ng Panginoon ay totoo at buhay. At pwede po talaga natin ma-experience sa ating buhay. Amen po Sige po, palakpa po natin si Lord. Kaya right now, personally, ayoko po na ako lang po makaka-experience niyan. Ayoko po na yung family ko lang po yung makaka-experience niyan. Gusto ko po, every member of this church will experience amazing things from God. Gusto ko po lahat po ng mga nakaupo ngayon in this service, you're gonna experience God doing amazing things through your lives dahil totoo, totoo po ang salita ng Panginoon. Kaya po, if you want to experience that amazing thing that God has for us, kailangan po pala na tayo po ay magdi-dream. Bakit sabi nga po, dream. Kailangan po tayo po ay magdi-dream. Bakit po ang ibig sabihin po pala ng dream in Hebrew is kalam. At ang ibig sabihin po pala niyan is to be healthy or strong. Gusto niyo po ba maging healthy? Gusto niyo po ba maging strong? Ganon po pala ka-importante na meron tayong dream. Meron tayong pangarap, meron tayong vision, meron tayong pangitain. May nakikita tayo into the future because it makes your life healthy and strong. At ganun din po kapag uh, nirelate po natin yan sa ating simbahan. Do you want this church to be healthy and strong for the next 30 years and more of this church? Amen. Gusto po natin yan ng ating simbahan ay healthy and strong for the next, thir- next years of this church. Kaya po we got to dream big for God. Yes, mukha na pong malaki yung ating church. Mukhang amazing na po. Ang ganda-ganda na po ng ating simbahan. But we got to dream bigger for God. Kaya saktong-sakto po yung ating national convention sa July. Kaya po sinasabi po natin na dream again. Pakisabi nga po yan, dream again. Sino po dito ay pupunta po sa further? Ayan po, may mga dami po mga kakasama po sa further. Sama-sama po tayo dyan. It's a historic event. It's a momentous event. At sana hindi po tayo magpapakuli po dyan. Because this is our time to dream again for the Lord. At dito po mismo sa ating uh, local church, ito po sa COG Dasmanias, tayo po yung hindi po dapat magpahuli dyan. Tayo po yung dapat mas manguna dyan. Bakit? On our shoulders, inuulit ko po sa mga members ng simbahan na to, bit-bit po natin ng 638 churches all over the Philippines at our backs. Tayo po ang tumata yung big brother sa buong COG Philippines. At nakakatuwa kasi pag pumupunta po sila dito sa ating simbahan, punta lang po, sila po ay nai-inspire na to dream bigger dreams for God. Sila po ay nai-inspire to dream again for the Lord. Kaya wag po tayong hihinto sa pag-dream big para sa ating Panginoon. At nakakatuwa, alam niyo po, last month kami po ay pumunta po sa COG Solano, Nueva Vizcaya. At ito po yung kanilang dream. 
Sa paulit-ulit po nilang punta po dito, nakikita po nila yung ating church at gusto po nila gayahin sa kanilang simbahan, gusto po nilang gayahin sa kanilang province, gusto po nila gayahin sa kanilang city. At ito po yung kanilang napakagandang dream. Tinatawag po nilang legacy building. And alam nyo po, nung pagpunta po namin last month, natapos na po nila yung first phase ng kanilang dream. Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. At andun po si Pastor Anthony, our senior pastor and national overseer. Yan po ay, yung building po na yan ay dinedicate po sa Panginoon. At right now, ginagamit na po nila yan for uh, 1,000, more than 1,000 congregation church doon po sa Solano, Nueva Vizcaya. Amen po ba yun? Di ba po, napakabuti ng Panginoon sa kanilang buhay? And little did you know, yan yung impact mo. Pakisabi sa katabi mo, yan yung impact mo. Diba? Kala mo, paupo-upo ka lang dyan, pa-serve-serve ka lang, kala mo walang nakakapansin sa'yo. Pero ang impact mo pala ay sa buong Pilipinas. O, siguro hindi lang po sa buong Pilipinas, sa buong mundo. Kaya po, we got to dream again. That's why we got to dream bigger dreams. Kasi ito pala yung impact po natin. And today, as we dream again for God, as we dream big dreams for the Lord, hindi po pwede hanggang dream lang po yun. We got to make things happen. Amen po ba yun? We got to make those dreams happen. Kaya napaka-importante na meron po tayong ladder. Kaya po tayo ay may ladder. Naalala ko tuloy yung inikot po naming series na saan ka punta sa mga satellite churches. What are we building? Ito po yung mga binibuild po natin sa ating simbahan. At isa po dito is the leadership ladder. Bakit? Kasi kailangan natin mag-mature in faith. Kailangan po natin mag-mature in our Christian walk. Kailangan po natin mag-mature sa paglilingkod natin kay Lord. Kailangan natin mag-mature in our leadership. Dahil malayo pa yung dream, malaki pa yung dream, we got to dream again. At ito po yung isang paraan para po maabot po natin yung mga dreams po natin. Kaya for every member of this church, for every worker, leader, pastor, including me, ano yung pinapagawa sa atin ng Panginoon? Take the next step. Pakisabi nga sa katabi mo, take the next step. You got to take the next step. I got to take the next step. This church got to take the next step. Kaya pataas nga po ng kamay ng mga workers ng ating simbahan. Pwede ba pataas yung mga workers? Pwede ba tumayo yung mga workers po natin ngayon? Sige po, tayo po tayo sa mga workers ng ating simbahan. Pwede ba natin palapakan doon yung mga workers ng ating church? Sila po yung mga volunteers po natin na nakakasama. Just remain standing dahil may gagawin po kayo. Ah, kala niyo wala kang gagawin. Ha? Sila po yung mga workers natin, sila po yung mga volunteers po natin na pwede niyo pong lapitan because they are the ones who will guide you toward your next step. Sila po yung mag a sa inyo eh, kung gusto niyo maging part ng ministry, gusto niyo po mag-join ng worship, gusto niyo po mag-join ng whatever ministry, tignan niyo po yung mga mukha nila, tignan niyo po yung mga nakatayo dyan, kung may katabi kayo nakatayo. Yan po, this day is Connection Sunday, this day is Harvest Sunday, and sila po yung makakapag-assist sa inyo. Amen po ba yun? Sige nga po, lakpangan po natin si Lord. You may now be seated. Bakit po? Because we are in need of more workers. We are in need uh, of our army of God na makakatuwang po natin to accomplish or make things happen sa malaking dream na pinapagawa ng Panginoon para sa atin. At ano po yung pinakamalapit na dream na pinapagawa ng Panginoon para sa atin? It's the Vision 40,000. Sino po dito ang naniniwala na mangyayari po yan? Sino po dito ang naniniwala na kaya gawin niya ni Lord sa ating simbahan? I want this to happen. I see this happening right now. It's not impossible. It seems big. But nothing is impossible for our God. Amen po ba That's why we got... Sige po, palakpangan po natin si Lord. And how did we do last year? Alam niyo po, noong 2021, ito po yung ating attendance, online and face-to-face -face combined. Meron tayong 14,634 attendance, average attendance. At ilan po tayo last year? Tayo po ay 15,799. Kaya tayo po ay nag-increase po ng 1,165 members. Amen mo ba yun? Pwede ba natin palapangan si Lord for that? Any increase is good. We praise God for that increase in our church. But... It is so far sa vision na pinapakita sa atin ng Pinet. Still so far sa vision 40,000. Kaya we need to make adjustments this year. We got to be more intentional this year. Kaya kinausap ko po yung ating outreach department sa panguna po ni Pastor Alan. Sabi ko, Pastor, pwede ba natin to ilunch yung campaign po natin na Four Souls for Mentor? Bakit? Because I found out na ang outreach department po pala natin ay may more than 1,000 mentors. 
Kaya kung sila lang po ay mag evangelize ng four souls per month, meron pong 4,000 new souls every month. And kung itatapusin natin yung buong taon, tanggalin na po natin yung relax months ng January and December. Meron tayong full 10 months, so 10,000, 10 months times 4,000 uh, souls per month. Magkakaroon tayo ng 40,000 plus new souls every month. And I'm blessed with our outreach department. Sinasang ayunan po nila to. They will support this. Yan po ay tinatrabaho na po nila po ngayon. At sa pangkanilang pagtatrabaho, tulong-tulong ng every department, every cluster, every ministry. Right this very day, this March, ilan na po ang na-evangelize po natin? Meron na po 9,505 souls evangelized. Okay, so, sige po palakpa natin si Lord. Sa tulong po ng outreach department, fishers of men, dyan po yung worship, white light, and crusade. Ito po yung ginagawa po natin. And we are evangelizing to new souls. Sabi ko po sa kanila, tsaka na po natin intindihin yung pag-church in nila. Ang importante, we are doing our part to evangelize, to plant a seed to the lost souls out there and just let the Holy Spirit bring them here in our church, in this house, that they may know Jesus Christ. Sige po, palapangan natin si Lord. Sabi ko rin po kay Pastor Alan at the Outreach Department, hindi ako papahuli dyan. I want to make a contribution. I want to, uh, I want to contribute here. Gusto ko kong tumulong. I want to be part of this campaign. Kaya ito po yung personally, na list ko po ng mga na-evangelize. Meron pong isa po noong January. Meron, natapos ko po yung apat ng February. Kulang na lang po ng dalawa this March. Di pa naman po tapos yung March. At ito po yung aking own list. At alam niyo po, bakit po ako burden na burden dito po ngayon? Kasi po noong January, yung una ko pong na-evangelize na si John. Siya po yung kasama, matagal ko na pong kasama nung tayo po ay may church pa sa COG Marriott, Manila. Isa po siyang FNB po doon. Isa pong food and beverage crew. And nung, nung January, siya po ay tumawag po sa akin. Nagulat po ko, out of nowhere. Matagal po yung pandemic, di po kami nag-uusap. Tumawag po siya sa akin. At nung pagtawag niya po sa akin, sinasabi niya sa akin, Pastor, ina-atake ako ng anxiety attack. Tinatamaan ako ng depression. For the, in the midst of pandemic, Talagang nag, nagtatry na ako mag-commit ng suicide at right this very moment kaya ako tumatawag sa iyo emergency na iisip ko na rin magpakamatay. Kaya na, na nahinto lang po siya sa glit kasi naisip niya meron nga pala siyang asawa, meron siyang mga anak. And right that very day, I took that opportunity para po mag-evangelize sa kanya at siya po ay tumanggap kay Jesus Christ at siya po ay naborn again. Sige po palakpakan po natin si Lord. But that moment hit me Bakit? Kasi nahihiya ako kay Lord. Kasi yung, yung souls na yung lumalapit sa akin, yung souls na hindi pa kilala si Jesus Christ ang lumalapit sa atin, parang baliktad yun ah. Parang ako yung dapat lumabas at umabot sa mga lost souls. Pero yung mga souls na yung lumalapit sa atin, naghahanap ng sagot sa kanilang buhay, naghahanap paano sila maliligtas, Nagahanap ano, makaalis sa anxiety attack, sa depression. Nagahanap ng mga tao na pipigis sa kanila mag-commit ng suicide. Kaya nahiya ako eh, Lord. That's why I got to do my part. You got to do your part and we got to a place for souls. You got to a place for souls because people out there are dying. People are there is not experiencing this beauty of this house. People out there are in need of Jesus Christ. Kaya to this congregation, I won't challenge you four souls per month sa outreach na yan. Ano lang ang challenge ko to this congregation? Baka naman pwede. Isa lang. This year. Isa lang this year. Baka sa mga nakaupo na members ng simbahan ito, baka wala ka na evangelized last year. Pero hindi pa huli ang lahat. You have a full year this year. Baka may pwede kang maabot na isa. Baka may pwede kang maligtas na isang kaluluwa. Baka yung pinapagupitan mo every month. Baka hindi mo alam, magpapakamatay na yan. Tomorrow, next week, di mo alam. Baka yung lagi mong kasabay sa commute mo, sa carpool mo, baka depressed yan, di mo alam. Baka yung lagi mong kasama sa work, sa school, tinatamaan ng anxiety attack. At baka inaantay lang nila yung mga Christians na nasa loob ng simbahan na to to share how Jesus Christ loves them. 
to just let them know that someone loves them and Jesus Christ is there for them. At nang sagot sa kanilang anxiety attack, ang sagot sa kanilang depression, ang sagot sa kanilang suicidal attacks ay walang iba kundi ang Panginoong Diyos na buhay na si Jesus Christ sa kanilang buhay. Amen? Sige po, balakpaka po natin si Lord. And what can we expect when we take our next step and a blaze for souls, a blaze for God? This is God's promise in the next verse, in verse 13, it says, And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, your father, and the God of Isaac, the land on which you lie, I will give to you and your descendants. And I could just imagine God telling Jacob, Jacob, nakita mo ba yung ginawa ko para sa tatay mo? Nakita mo ba yung kung gaano ko blines si Isaac? Nakita mo ba kung gaano ko blines si Abraham? Gaano ko kayo pinarami? Nakita mo ba yung Jacob? At kung nakita mo kung gaano ko blines yung mga tatay mo, yung tatay mo, yung lolo mo, God is telling Jacob, I will do it again in your lives right now. Hallelujah. Sige po pala po na si Lord. At pwede po ba pataas ng kamay ng mga 33 years old and below? 33 years old and below. Sa mga nagtaas mo na kami, pwede po ba kayong tumayo? Bakit po 33? Just because our church will be turning 33 years this year. Sige po tayo po kayo mga 33 years old and below. At sa mga 33 years old and below, you see the people here right now. You are the next generation of this church. You are the young leaders of this church. You are the future of this church, the future pastors, future leaders, future workers, future members of this church who will bring this church to the next 30 years and more of this church. And what is God telling us right now, church? What is God telling us right now, youth? Have you seen what God had done through my father? Have you seen what God had done through our senior pastor? Have you seen what God had done through our fathers? Have you seen what God had done through the leaders of this church? Do you see it? Do you see the beauty of this church? Do you see the impact of this church in this city? Do you see the impact of this church in the whole Philippines? And God is telling us right now, I will do it again in your lives right now. I will do it again for the next years of this church. For the next generation of this church. And everyone here, can we stand up to Jesus today? And God is not yet ending. The next verse it says in verse 14, Also, your descendants shall be as the dust of the earth. You shall spread abroad to the west and the east, to the north and to the south. And in you and in your seed, all the families of the earth will be blessed. And what is God's promise for everyone standing here? What is God's promise for every member of this church right now? God is telling it today, I will do amazing things through you. I will do amazing things through you if you just take the next step of your life. If you will just ablaze for souls, I will do it. I will do it again. I will do the amazing in this church. At bakit napakat nindi ng panghawak po sa salita po na ito? Because in 2015, God gave me this message in Jeremiah chapter one. The whole chapter He gave to me is the reason why I resigned from work. It's the reason why I planted a church in Manila. It's the reason why. Uh, I became a pastor, the whole Jeremiah chapter 1. At meron po akong mga verses dito na hindi ko po maintindihan. And sabi po sa verse 11, Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Jeremiah, what do you see? And I said, I see a branch of an almond tree. And the Lord said to me, You have seen well, for I am ready to perform my work. And since 2015 until this year, tagal ko pong hinanap po tong almond tree po na ito. Saan po makikita itong almond tree na Naghanap po ako sa labas, naghanap po ako kung saan man, naghanap po ako sa salita na Panginoon. I just cannot see this almond tree until this year. At saan ko po nahanap po itong almond tree po na ito? In Genesis chapter 28, verse 19, it says here, And Jacob called the name of that place 
Bethel. But the name of that city had been loose previously. At ano pa yung previous name, it was loose. And guess what? In Hebrew, ang ibig sabihin po pala ng loose is an almond tree. Kaya po today, I believe it's not an accident na may pinapatayo po tayong building dito sa likod. It's not an accident na Bethel po yung pinangalan po natin dyan. Hindi po aksidente na ito po yung pinag-uusapan natin today because I believe God is ready to do amazing things in our church today. Amen. Sige po, palakpakan natin si Lord. And what can we hold on to today, church? In verse 15, it says, Behold, I am with you and will keep you wherever you go and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have spoken to you. Yan ang pangako po ng Panginoon para sa atin. He promised to do amazing things here in our church. At sasamahan daw po tayo ng Panginoon. Hanggat hindi po nangyayari po yun, hindi tayo iiwan ng Panginoon, hindi tayo kakalimutan, He will make it happen in this church and in your lives. Why? Because God is ready. He's telling us today, I am ready to perform my word in your life. I am ready to perform my word in this church. I am ready to perform my word in this country. So today, church, as you can see it, we will be ready, not by might, nor by power, but only by the Spirit of God. So today, church, are you ready? Are you ready for God to do amazing things in your life? If you're, if you're ready, say, I'm ready. You can shout it out aloud today, I'm ready. We're going to declare to God, I'm ready. And if you are ready, we're going to sing this song. We're going to declare this right now. We're going to worship God through this and declare, we are ready.
spiritual growth again do multiplication again do it again do it again Lord we're desperate for you do it again do it again to convict every heart to a place for souls do it again, Lord God, for every member of this church to save one more soul. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again, oh God. Do it again. We're here. This church is ready. This church is ready, oh God. This church is ready. This church is ready, oh God. Hallelujah. This church is ready. We are ready not by might, nor by power, but by your spirit, oh God. So do it again. Do it again. Do it again this year. Do it again this month. Do it again, oh God. Just do it again. Just do it again, oh God. Do it again. Do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Church, go and raise up our hands to Jesus. And tell God today, join me in this prayer. Say, do it again. 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 I'm ready. I'm ready. Our church is ready. Our church is ready. For a breakthrough. For a breakthrough. Our church is ready. Our church is ready. For more miracles. For more miracles. For more revivals. For more revivals. For more breakthroughs. For more breakthroughs. And here I am, oh God. And here I am, oh God. I am ready. I am ready. To take the next step. To take the next step. And a blaze for souls. And a blaze for souls. Here I am, oh God. Here I am, oh God. And do, and do amazing things, amazing things through my life. Through my life. And I believe, and I believe from this day forward, from this day forward, my life, my life, this church, this church will never be the same again. Will never be the same again. From this day forward. From this day forward. And just give God a very best clap offering. <laughs> Hallelujah. Just do it again, oh God. Do it again church before we leave this place can we lift up our tithes and offering to God and Lord do it again Lord God you have done financial breakthroughs for this church this church is built with no money this church is built in the foundation of faith so if we are desiring today to build an arena if we are dreaming today to build a stadium for you, a bigger home for you, Jesus, a bigger tabernacle for you, Jesus, money is not the problem. We just need to invest in faith. Because our lives, this church, is built in the foundation of faith. So today as we lift up our tithes and offering, bless these tithes and offering. And Lord, let more souls be reached to these tithes and offering. Lord, let many more souls come into this house and be saved and experience you like never before. Experience your love like they've never experienced in their lives. Let us worship you, O God, through these tithes and offering. And today, Lord God, I pronounce your blessing upon your people. Lord God, Holy Spirit, you be the one to convict their hearts, convict their lives, to save one more soul this year. Let them save one more soul before this year ends. Just one more soul for you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, ablaze them for more souls for you. I pronounce your blessing. Let your double portion of anointing be upon them. Give them your wisdom on how to save one more soul. Find favor in every work of their hands that they may prosper. And give glory to your most glorious name. 
We love you so much, God. We claim the victory and we give you back all the glory and all the praise in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Everybody shout. Amen. amen and amen. God bless everyone. Hello again, COG fam. Thank you for being part of our Sunday worship service. We hope that you had an intimate time with the Lord. There is really power in embracing God's Word. That's why we pray that this made an impact to your life. We want to praise the Lord for this opportunity to gather even online. So keep sharing the good news, guys. And if you want to know more about our happenings here at COG, check out our Instagram and Facebook at COG Dasma and at COG WMPH. Also, if you want to take your next step from joining a ministry to growing in your faith or connecting to a group, type next step and our online team will get in touch with you. Or if you need counseling and prayer, our COG Lifeline counselors are ready to welcome you. Just type prayer and we'll connect you to the team. That's it for today, COG fam. This is Karina. God bless you and we'll see you again next Sunday. We love you, COG fam. To him, even a season of pause is a season of purpose. Even in solitude, he magnified his sovereignty. But this 2023, we will gather as one man. It's time to dream again. Dive into the unknown with faith. To explore the depths of His power. To cross the unbelief. And swiftly move forward. To reach the unseen. And witness the fullness of His glory. We are going further.